Bonjour. Since I am out of the office this week for keystone testing, I am just doing a quick video to introduce Unit 7 to you. And in this unit, we'll talk about different specialty shops you can find in France, what is sold there, and also we look at indirect objects. Okay, so this is La Boucherie. À La Boucherie, on peut acheter le viande, le bœuf, l'agneau, Le pork, le volaille, which is the word for poultry, le gibier, et la, à la charcuterie, on peut acheter du saucisson et du jambon. So the difference between la charcuterie et la boucherie, at la charcuterie, you can buy different types of prepared meats. So that's like um, sausage and cure, other types of cured meats. La boulangerie. À la boulangerie, on peut acheter du pain, des baguettes, des pains au chocolat, des croissants, et des mille feuilles, which are little cakes that are they have several layers. Aussi, on peut acheter des éclairs, un gâteau, une tarte, des beignets. La pâtisserie. Yeah, la pâtisserie. You can buy les macarons and all different types of small little cakes. And all of these things that you see here. La crèmerie. On peut acheter du lait, du fromage, des oeufs, de la glace. La fromagerie. La fromagerie, on peut acheter du fromage. You can see there's all different types of cheeses here. Le poissonnerie, on peut acheter du poisson. Des homards. Du saumon. Des huîtres. Du crabe. Des cravates. Du thon. Duton, which is tuna. Et l'épicerie. Le cassier. Right, and I also want to talk to you about the indirect objects. Okay, so in the previous unit, we learned about direct objects. So you have to be able to tell the difference between the two. So remember, a direct object is the direct recipient of the action in the sentence. For example, if I said, I threw the ball to Paul, the direct object would be the ball, okay? Because our action is through. What's the recipient of that action? What's being thrown? The ball. So that's our direct object. Here we're focusing on the indirect object, which answers often answers the question to whom or for whom. So for example, Kelly threw the ball to me. Me is the indirect object. Answers the question, to whom did Kelly throw the ball? Julie gave them presents. Them is the indirect object, because you could say, to whom did Julie give the presents? To them. In French, the indirect objects often have pour, which means for, or a to in front of them. If the indirect object is an inanimate object, so not a person or animal, instead of using these indirect object pronouns, we'll use E, which we learned about previously. So for example, if you say you're going to a place, remember we replace that with E instead of an indirect object pronoun. So our indirect object pronouns are me, te, lui, vu, nu, and l'air. Okay, you'll notice that the top of that chart Mutu, vu, and nu, those are the same pronouns 
that we use with the direct objects. Okay, they are the same as the direct object pronoun. On the bottom, this is where we see the change. So, to or for him, her, or it is Louis. Okay, there's no difference between um, genders, unlike with direct objects. Remember, we had le and la. And then the plural, them, is l'air. Okay, with direct objects, them was lay. Okay, and here you can see a comparison of the two. Okay, and luckily, the pronoun rules are the same with indirect objects as they were with direct objects and also with the pronoun e. So if you have a sentence with one verb, the indirect object pronoun is going to go in front of that verb. So for example, je lui parle means I'm talking to him. Nous leur donnons les cadeaux, we're giving them the presents. Il ne t'achète pas la pizza, he's not buying you the pizza. And then here we see an example of an inanimate object where we use E. J'y pense. I'm thinking about it. Okay, in sentences with two verbs, the indirect object pronoun goes in between the two verbs, just like we learned previously with direct object pronouns. Okay, je veux lui donner un chien means I want to give him or her a dog. Lui comes between v and donne. I will be out of the office for testing, Keystone testing this week. If you do need any help or have questions, you can send me an email. I will be checking my email in the evenings. And I will be back um, in the office next Monday. Okay, so I hope that you have an excellent rest of your day and à la prochaine.